So, in recent times, we've seen the rise of AI in different forms of content creation, from art all the way to moving images down to doing some very interesting stuff for 3D models. This has actually made a lot of things even way easier for most people to create. And of course, there are mixed reactions about this depending on where you stand within the spectrum. But one thing has always been clear, that AI is here to stay and it will make its way through every form of art and content creation there is. And today, we're looking at one that is super interesting. This is from the folks at Stability AI, as they've just introduced stable audio. Of course, they've brought about a lot of revolution in terms of generative AI in the past few years and they've also led a set of rapid improvements in the quality and controllability of generated images, videos and today we're looking at one that deals with audio and with the introduction of stable audio which uses a latent diffusion model architecture for audio conditioned on text, metadata as well as audio file during the length of audio generation this now simply makes creating your audios very easy. So if you go over to the link in the description that brings you right here you can see that we have a couple of audio samples. So these audio samples deals with both music, instruments, sound effects, and for sure if you'd like to read up on the technical details, you can of course go ahead and do that. There is also a very interesting thing to know about this as the data set that is being used is consisting of over 800,000 audio files containing music, sound effects, and single instrument stems, as well as corresponding text metadata provided through a deal with the folks at Audio Sparks. The data set adds up to over 19,500 hours of audio. And for those who like to read up on all of this, you can definitely come through and read it. But now let's get into working with this beautiful tool. So for you to get started, once you come over to the link in the description that brings you here, you can click on stableaudio.com. This brings you over to a page where you can start creating your very own audio or you can listen to some that has been created. So if you like to listen to any of these, you can simply come through, press the playback button to listen and you can simply go ahead and listen to more. But then if you like to create yours, of course you can. So what you need to do is to come right here where you have your generate music, click on this button and this would load you into a new page where you can type in a prompt and start generating your audio. It is worth mentioning that you need to register on this platform before you can even start using it and something to keep in mind is this exists in three different tiers which we're going to talk about later so for the free tier you have 45 seconds of audio which you can use to do some very interesting stuff you can type whatever you want within the text prompt Currently, this just has one model, so you just need to type how you want the audio to be, and this would proceed to do that. In our case, we type drums, claps, ambient vocal, cinematic, and electric guitar. Just to give this a spin, we proceeded to hit on the generate button, which is the black arrow that you find here. So once you click on that button, this proceeds and generates it, and this is basically what you get. And with this, you can see that with what we have here, it is now easy for anyone to create stems, audio files, or even do some very interesting sound design for their project. So instead of scampering around the internet looking for that particular sound that you need, you can come through and prompt it. The fact that you can prompt any genre of sound and also any instrument, any stem, any style of sound that you want just simply makes this a very interesting tool to have within your arsenal. So at this point, we actually went ahead and did the funk, epic, cinematic and buzz and this is what it sounds like. Furthermore, if you're just looking for a simple stem, let's say you just need like some kicks, you can also go ahead and prompt kicks and that is what you'll be getting. And here is something I also noticed which is worth putting out there. Depending on how complicated your prompt is, this might also impact the time of generation or how much time you get to wait for your prompts to be generated. Now one thing you'll notice is to individual instruments, you have options of variation. And this would be very useful for a lot of people, especially if you're thinking about play with variations of one particular audio instrument, this would definitely save you so much time. So if you're an audio editor, maybe you're an editor that rely a lot on sound, or maybe you're just into sound design, then this table audio is one that I think you would definitely love 
and you should consider exploring it. Now, moving over to the tiers that exist, like we mentioned earlier, there is the free, professional, and enterprise tier. For the free tier, you have access to creating soundtracks or any kind of track for 45 seconds, and you have only 20 generations that you can create every single month. The licenses are non-commercial, and you're not obligated by any means to make any form of payment when using the free version. I would suggest that you proceed with a free version so that you can comfortably understand what you're getting into before you proceed to getting the professional one. And yes, we've talked about other audio platforms on this channel but this stable audio is a very unique one and if you're looking at places where you can get very interesting audio sounds or you're looking for some beautiful stems then you might want to consider taking a look at this one and start working with it so this is it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace